Happy Tuesday, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Kira. And if you clicked on this video, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. This is a video all about caring for yourself, self-care when you have anxiety and or depression. But these are also just general self-care tips that I use on a regular basis that even if I'm not experiencing anxiety or depression, I still use these things. A lot of you guys have said that you're really stressed right now and you know, struggling with mental illness and I totally get you because I'm in the exact same boat right now. The past couple of weeks have been probably the hardest few weeks of this year and even of last year. A lot of changes have been happening, good and bad changes that I've had to deal with. When big changes happen in your life, sometimes your mental health can go wonky. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the things I do to keep my mental health in check, show myself love, and make my mental health a priority. If you enjoy this type of video from me, make sure you like it up, folks. Comment below what you want to see next, comment below anything, and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Hit the notification bell so that you get uploaded. Why do I keep saying that? Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload, and let's get on into the tips! When I'm feeling anxious, something that really grounds me is doing a combination of stretching and deep breathing. It's kind of similar to yin yoga where you hold poses for a couple minutes at a time, but I do my own version of it with the stretches I love doing. So just find a quiet space, grab some comfy clothes and a yoga mat. I usually like starting out with some sun salutations and continue with the stretches I'm doing here. The trick is really drawing out your inhales and exhales and focusing solely on your breath. This practice brings a lot of oxygen to your muscles, organs, and brain. After doing this, I always feel like I can breathe way deeper and I feel super refreshed. You should try it. Something else that really boosts my energy and kicks depression in the bum is exercising. Sometimes when you're depressed, you don't want to even get out of bed, so this will sound like a difficult task, but once you do it, you'll feel so much better. You can go for a run outside and get some fresh air, or go to the gym, ride a bike, do some yoga, find a workout video on YouTube that you can do at home. Exercising boosts the serotonin levels in your body, which are happy chemicals that just boost your mood. With that being said, this video is sponsored by Fabletics, which is literally my favorite athletic wear or athleisure brand ever. You've probably heard me rant about Fabletics before because I've talked about them on my Instagram and my YouTube. If you need motivation to exercise or go to the gym, personally, I always know that buying new workout clothes motivates me so much because then I can go flex in the gym and be like, Oh girl, look at her. So by using my personalized URL in the description box of this video, you can get my special deal, which is two pairs of leggings for $24. And this is normally a $99 value. Folks, folks. I'm not joking when I say that these clothes are very, very comparable to Lululemon, Gymshark, or any other like athletic wear brands and also way more affordable. If you have been looking for some new leggings, then I would definitely check out Fabletics. Make sure you click the link in my description box. I ranted on my Instagram story the other day about these new camo printed leggings, these ones, that I just got and they're power hold leggings so they suck in like my waist and just hug my booty so well. These are the first leggings that I found that actually flatter my figure so well. So yeah, if you want to go pick up some power hold leggings, then go and do that with my custom URL. Another thing that I love to do is read. I read a lot of mindset and self-help books. The one I'm actually rereading for the second time is called Wishes Fulfilled, Mastering the Art of Manifesting by Wayne Dyer. I highly, highly recommend this book. It has totally changed my perception of what is possible for me. He talks about how to access the manifesting powers within you, your connection to the divine, and create the life you've always dreamed of having. It's honestly life-changing, guys. One of my favorite self-care activities to do is meditation. I know it's hard sometimes to get into meditating, so sometimes guided meditations are easiest when starting out. I use the free app Insight Timer almost every night. It has guided meditations, a full built-in meditation timer, calming music, binaural beats that change your brainwave frequency, and literally everything else. 
Find a quiet space where you can be alone. You can sit on a cushion, light some candles, or burn incense. Meditating is great for quieting your anxious and intrusive thoughts. It definitely takes practice, so don't be bummed out when you can't quite quiet your mind for the first few times. Like the fact that you're actively trying to improve yourself is what counts, so keep working at it. Another thing I love doing, especially when I'm by myself and in a bad mood, is to turn on some fun, upbeat music that makes you dance and just like go crazy. Keep preaching, and I'll keep coming back. I've been super into this artist called Maggie Rogers lately. This song I'm listening to right now is Light On. Her whole album, Heard It In A Past Life, is freaking amazing. All her songs are super spiritual and have a positive message too. I love her so much. Something else I love doing is journaling. This forces the anxious thoughts in your head out of there and onto paper. You can either do free writing and write about literally anything that comes to mind. You can be creative with it by writing a poem or a story or a song. A tool I use every morning and night is the five minute journal. I actually got it on Amazon. It's a quick daily journal with writing prompts to follow when maybe you don't know what to write. This starts and concludes every day with a feeling of gratitude and motivation for me. The last and probably most common self care tip that I love doing is taking a hot bath. I also sometimes meditate in the bath. Just make sure you don't fall asleep while doing it. <laughs> You can drop some essential oils like lavender into your bath, light candles, turn on a Himalayan salt lamp. This will detoxify your physical body and mind at the same time. You can also do a face mask. These are some face masks I love doing and have used in the past. So those are all of the things that I like to do when I'm feeling anxious or depressed or just things I like to do on a regular basis to make myself feel good and to raise my vibrational frequency. So I wanted to make this video for you guys and share my personal tips. And if this video helped you in any way, I really wanna know, comment below. I can't wait to see your guys' comments. And don't forget, if you want to grab two pairs of leggings for $24, which is a $99 value, by the way, click that link in my description box. And I wanna see those cute leggings on you and go to the gym with those cute leggings or stretch or do yoga or do something that makes you feel good. All right, that is all for today. I'll see you next week. Bye.